Angle measures. Being able to tell different types of angle measures is going to be essential to our study of geometry. First, we'll cover types of angles. Angles are classified based on the number of degrees they have in them. Degrees are measured between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. 0 really means we have no angle, and then it opens up wider and wider and wider until we get to a 180 degree angle. Right in the middle is what we call the right angle. The right angle is a perfect 90 degree angle. We mark it with this little square box, and that means it's 90 degrees, a perfect corner. If it's bigger than that 90 degree angle, we say it's quite obtuse. It is an obtuse angle, more than 90 degrees. So this example here is 130 degrees, wider than the 90 degree angle. Less than 90 degree angle, such as this 54 degree angle here, we call that an acute angle. And there's lots of puns that come with the acute angle. For example, uh, you are, this angle would be acute. This would be some t. And this last symbol would be pi. So you are a QT pi. OK, math puns. There are some special angles that we need to be aware of for this course, and we will use them a lot. First are complementary angles, and these are two angles that add to 90 degrees. You notice if we combine the 25 and the 65 together, that equals 90 degrees. Together, they make that perfect right angle. The next type of angle we need to know are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles add to 180 degrees. And notice if we combine the 50 and the 130 together, we get 180 degrees, which is that wide open straight line. The third type of angle we need to know are what are called vertical angles. And vertical angles are opposite angles with equivalent angle measures. And we have two lines that cross, like these two lines here. If one of these acute angles is 40 degrees, the other acute angle is also 40 degrees. And in fact, we've even got this obtuse angle out here. Notice the obtuse angle combined with the 40 degree acute angle makes a straight line. They're supplementary. So they're going to add to 180 degrees. So 40 plus what is 180? 40 plus 140 is 180 degrees. And that angle, then, is going to be congruent to the vertical angle across from it. Congruent or the same measure is also going to be a 140-degree angle. So vertical angles across from each other have the same measure. So to look at these concepts, I've got three examples here. And what you'll see first with this first example, we've got two angles that are across from each other. One measures 9y plus 7. The other measures 2y plus 98. Because they're across from each other, because they're congruent angles, we can say that this top angle is the same as the bottom angle. Or the 9y plus 7 is equal to the same as the 2y plus 98. This forms a linear equation that we got really good in Algebra 1 solving. Balancing on the equal sign, we can subtract 2y from both sides so that the variables are only on one side, 7y plus 7 equals the 98. Subtract the 7 from both sides. And then 7y equals 91. Get the y alone by dividing both sides by 7. And y is equal to 13. But that doesn't tell us what the angles are. So let's go back to the angles. The angles are. Well, let's not do blue. Let's do purple. The angles are 2y plus 98 or 9y plus 7. I'm going to do the 9y plus 7. 9y plus 7, 9 times 13 plus 7. 9 times 13 is 117 plus 7 is 124. So that angle is 124 degrees. And we know the vertical angle across from it is going to be exactly the same measure, 124 degrees. And if I were to plug the 13 into the 2 times y plus 98, I would also get the 124 angles, 124 degrees. So that one is correct. Second example, we've got two angles, x plus 3 and 2x plus 3, or 2x minus 3. But we notice they make that perfect right angle. These angles are 
complementary. Complementary means that they add to equal 1 equal 90 degrees. So we're going to add them together, x plus 3, and we're going to add the 2x minus 3. That's going to equal 90 degrees because they are complementary angles. Now we just have to start solving for x. x plus 2x is 3x. 3 minus 3, that's nice. That comes out to 0 equals 90. Divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to 30 which is great. Now we just have to plug them in to figure out what the angles are. The first angle was x plus 3, or 30 plus 3 equals 33. So the first angle is 33 degrees. The second angle, we can either take 90 minus 33, which is 57 degrees, or we could have plugged the 30 in for x. 2 times 30 is 60 minus 3 is 57 degrees. We have our two complementary angles. These next two angles combine to make a straight line, which means they are supplementary. So they are going to add to equal 180 degrees. Really similar here, 4n plus 22. Add the second angle, 8n minus 10. That's going to equal 180 degrees because it's a straight line. They are supplementary. And now it's just solving. 4n plus 8n is 12n. 22 minus 10 is 12 equals 180. S continue solving by subtracting the 12 from both sides. And 12n equals 168. And now we just have to divide that 168 by 12 on both sides. And n is equal to 14. Still, to figure out what those angles are, though, we're going to have to plug our value in for n. So let's do that in the first angle. 4n, or 4 times 14, plus 22. 4 times 14 is going to be 56, plus 22, 50, 60, 78 degrees is going to be that first angle. The second angle we know is going to add up to 180. So 180 minus 78 is going to be 102 degrees. Or we could have done 8 times our n, or 14 minus 10. And that would have also given us 102 degrees. The algebra should be a review from Algebra 1. What we're focusing on today is angle measures. Vertical angles are congruent. Across from each other, they're the same. Complementary angles add to 90, and supplementary angles add to 180. Take a look at the homework assignment and let your instructor know if you have any questions.